1918, Colonel James Porter returned to England from the Great War to seek his fortune. In 1925, he began to craft what would become Newcastle Brown Ale. Three years later, he'd perfected the recipe. Then, in 1928, Colonel James Porter's Brown Ale swept the boards in the International Brewery Awards. Shortly after, he became Managing Director of Newcastle Breweries Limited and was awarded a CBE. In 1973, Colonel James Porter was found dead in his family home by his distraught wife, Ophelia. In December of that year, Colonel James Porter was laid to rest in Morpeth, where worms began eating his body. By 1977, Newcastle was being exported all around the world and sales were soaring. By 1979, the worms had successfully finished off Colonel Porter, transforming him into a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen and carbon, better known as worm poo. By 1980, the new queen worm of that colony had established several branches in nearby fields and farms. By 2005, Newcastle was imported in over 40 countries and was on its way to becoming the number one import ale of the United States. In 2008, the worm colony suffered a disastrous setback as their queen was paved over for a brand new 4,300 square foot outlet mall. Today, Newcastle is one of the most loved and recognisable brown ales in the world. And the legacy of Colonel James Porter is celebrated through limited edition Newcastle Founders Ale. And while the worm colony is now only the 47th largest worm colony in Morpeth, the legacy of the queen worm is one of glory days when every worm feasted on the plentiful bounty that was Colonel James Porter. <laughs>